that up, and which is the best move you have in terms of a uh, politician manipulating the news, you've mastered the art. When you're asked a question you don't want to answer, you leave the room. You got up and walked right out of here. Well, Mr. Frayn, we can discuss the role, my role with the media, but the point of the press conference was on electric rates. The fact that it took place at 4 o'clock in the afternoon was because we just got a decision back, as often happens, is late in the afternoon. Now, the question of whether I should answer any question that you pose to me at any time of the day or night, and you seem to think that I should, I happen to disagree, and that's an issue that I would like to get into as to what becomes a major story. All right. One of the concerns that I have, in fact, is that when one deals, and I, I'll get into this at greater length later on, is that some reporter comes in and says, do you, and this has happened, I mean, Jim raised an instance to, uh, about that happened to him a number of years ago. I remember a number of years ago, before I was mayor, there was an issue, somebody bombed a building someplace in connection with the war in Vietnam. And the reporter said to me, what do you think about bombing buildings in opposition to the war in Vietnam? And I said, I, you know, I don't agree with it. The major thrust of the story is that Sanders does not agree in the bombing of buildings in connection to stopping the war in Vietnam. The thrust would be that I had given any thought to that at all, and that's the famous do you beat your wife story. And I have, that's something that we can get into as to uh, questions posed by the media and how one has to respond to that. Well, maybe, maybe we'll back up from, from the confrontation on that question that we're coming back to later. Mr.